Today for Raccoon Trap Monday, I'm gonna show you the biggest trap that I've ever featured on my channel. And then I'll show you amazing fan art, all raccoon related. So make sure you watch till the end for another great episode of Mouse Trap, I mean Raccoon Trap Monday. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that every Monday and Friday I post videos where we test out different traps for mice and rats. And every once in a while we have an extra dead rodent that I feed to wild animals in my backyard. Well a few weeks ago I discovered that a mother and three baby raccoons were coming along and enjoying the meals that we left them. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to test out a live catch raccoon trap that I've had for quite a while now. Well here's our trap. It's called the Ulick Repeater and it comes in three different sizes. This larger version for raccoons, the medium size for feral cats, and the smaller version for rats and squirrels. This is my all time favorite rat trap. In a single night I've caught so many rats with this thing. Now all these traps pretty much work the same way. In the bottom is a cage for holding the animals. In the back is a hopper for food. In front of it is a trigger connected to the floor. The animal goes in there, hits the trigger, the floor drops down, they get caught in the cage and then it resets itself like a teeter totter. The mechanics are very smooth and one after another you can catch the animals. Now I don't have any cats I need to catch but for our raccoons we are going to use this great big trap. Let me show you how it works. On the raccoon version the cage trap is huge. You can fit several raccoons in here. On the back of the trap there is a metal door. When we want to release the raccoons we will lift that up and they can run out. On the back there is a hopper. This is where you fill it up with dog food and it will feed down to the trigger. I don't have a raccoon so I will use my kids panda bear. They will come along, try to get the bait and when they do they drop down. I will show you that from a side view so you can see them dropping in the cage. The raccoons will smell the bait, climb up the wire, enter, hit that trigger and you got them and it is reset for the next raccoon. So on the first three or four nights I am going to place this rod in here. And that way the trap won't go off. They are going to have a free buffet for the next few nights. Let's go set up the trail cameras and see if they like their new restaurant. Well it looks like the baby raccoons are very comfortable going on the trap but not the mother. I don't think we will catch her but maybe we will catch the babies. Also a skunk's coming along but it can't climb up here. So tonight I am going to pull the pin and see if the babies will come along, hit the trigger, drop down and get caught. Let's set up the motion cameras and see what happens.
Well, last night we caught one of the three babies. It wanted the bait, went in there, hit that trigger, and dropped down in the cage. Now the other raccoons went on there, but they know it's a trap. They're not getting caught. They're sitting back in the blackberries, so I thought I'd let this raccoon go to join his family. We'll lift up the lid. You're free. Well, I'm sure that's not the last we'll see of those raccoons. They'll be in future videos. Overall, I'm very happy with the Ulick repeater trap. It's a huge trap, it's very heavy. It came in two boxes and it required quite a bit of assembly. But if you have a raccoon problem, it's a good option. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who are sending me art. A couple weeks ago, I asked for drawings of raccoons, a mother feeding her three babies dead mice and rats, and I absolutely love how creative my viewers are. So keep the fan art coming. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking the button. Currently, I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, fools, and gophers, and sometimes raccoons, stay tuned.